All right, guys. This is uh, this is gonna be a video over my warm weather changes to my kit for backpack hunting and uh, hunting the mountains for elk. So <clears throat> this is uh, some of the stuff I had in my standard kit. I had that in another video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. That's my standard stuff for the day hunting and backpacking. A um, couple changes I'll make, and this is all pretty small changes because I've dialed this setup in pretty good. But um, if it's super duper hot, this is a Sika Ascent shirt. Um, this baby is pretty much see-through, uh, lightest shirt I can find that's camo, gives me some coverage from the sun, dries super quick, uh, it's not going to keep you warm once you stop moving or you get out of that sun though, so keep that in mind. This is kind of a, um, just an add-on to my normal set of stuff that I would have, and if it was really warm, you know, I'm going to be pulling the base layer bottoms out of my normal kit. Um, and replace them with some lighter options uh, as far as tops go because my pants are about as light as I want to run. So anything that I run lighter is going to be a change to my, my top section. Um, this is a really nice shirt. I've used it quite a bit hunting Idaho early season. Uh, works well, dries well. Uh, this is a Sika sun hat. Just helps keep the, the sun off my ears. My ears tend to burn really bad when I get out in the open a lot. Very lightweight. Like I said, protects my head a little bit, my neck. Um, that's something I'll throw in there if it's really hot. And then this is a Sika Core Lightweight, I believe. Um, this is gonna replace my Merino base layer if it is very hot and be and it's gonna be hot for a few days because this is gonna dry a lot faster than my Merino tops that I typically like to wear. This is something that I experimented with a couple years ago. I bought it for an earlier season hunt, and it's not a bad piece. If you like synthetics, I think it's a really nice piece. I'm more Merino guy for base layers, but this gets used some on those warmer hunts where I know I'm going to sweat through everything and I need it to dry quick. And then I will also have a heavier Merino layer or even maybe my base layer for like an evening or an early morning hunt before I want to put this on. And then <clears throat> last change is this is a Merino short sleeve. Um, the Merino actually makes me feel better with a pack on. So like pressure on my hips, on my shoulders, the synthetics doesn't do a lot to pad for me. And, uh, this just gives me a little bit of protection from the pack when I'm packing real heavy short sleeve, obviously. So if you're packing, it doesn't really matter. You know, if you're a little more visible to animals, have a couple of these in there Wear those a lot training back here on my hikes. And if I knock something down out there and have to pack it a long ways and it's warm out. I'll probably just be wearing that. So hope that helps you uh, make some decisions on your setup. And we're going to have another video here about my cold weather changes if the weather turns crappy on you in September. So stay tuned.